What's going on? Welcome back to our match preview. Tomorrow we are facing Manchester City in the Carabao Cup final. Um, obviously a massive game. Um, second game under Ryan Mason. I'm here, with, I'm here with Josh as always. How are you doing? Yeah, good. Uh, yeah, but anyways, we're going to preview the game tomorrow against Manchester City. Um, obviously on paper, we're the underdogs. Man City are massive favourites, but it's a cup final. It's a cup final. And... Um, um, and obviously, like as well as derbies, form goes out the window on cup final day. So, I guess tomorrow, um, I guess tomorrow is not about um, who's in the better form. It's about what, um, it's about which team wants it more and turns up on the day. And considering that Ryan Mace is on new manager, like the mentality should be different now, like more, um, I said, like more brave and aggressive attacking. Mm. Hopefully, how do we turn up? So, um, so, Josh, what are your thoughts heading into this one? Obviously, big game. A chance for a trophy for the first time since, fuck me, 2008. Yeah, uh, I mean, there is a lot of things that are similar to the 2008. I think we were in the same, I think we were seventh in the same time when we were coming up against the Premier League champions. Oh, really? So, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting. Um, obviously, Chelsea and Man City are entirely different teams. This Man City team is probably one of the best we've seen in ages they could do the treble this year um <laughs> hopefully we'll be able to stop that but yeah i don't i think i think like you said i think having ryan mason in i think we're gonna we might turn up on the day but i think more as well i think city that like are so like big to win because they've got experience in this competition if they i think win this they won win it the record amount of times which is mm -hmm. mad. Yeah, I right? think if they win this, so, they win it four seasons in a row, didn't they? Four yeah, seasons. If they, win say, this, see, if they win this one, it's four seasons, which is four crazy. seasons in a row. But, yeah. Unbelievable. But anyways, um, on Tuesday, um, so Tuesday coming up, they face, I think, PSG in the first leg of the Champions League semi-final. Mm. So does that make you think, like, especially with the removal of the Super League now, because now the Super League, um, it's not going ahead for now. Um, and do you think City are going to rest some players uh, for uh, for tomorrow or um, for the PSG game on Tuesday? Um, I'm not sure if they will. I think, I think even if they do rest the players, they've still got a better team than us. So let's be real. yeah, uh, yeah, I obviously. Think, but yeah, I'm fine. If they let, let's think about it, like John Stones and Kevin De Bruyne are out. They're just going to replace them with Laporte, who is a better player than John Stones and Phil Foden. <laughs> yeah. So Feel it's fine. not really yeah. like they're it's not really like it's a downgrade, is it? But I, I was thinking think Bernardo Silva, but Phil Foden is quite yeah. powerful. Bernardo Silva is a very underrated player. Um but he, he, he um but yeah, uh I think it might give us a better chance of winning the game because obviously <laughs> they're not downgrades really, but they're not as good as those players. So <laughs> yeah, but I think it's still very, very slim. Of our yeah, but as much as Man City got injuries, obviously Harry Kane is he going to be back for tomorrow? We don't know. Um, I think yesterday he was in individual training, um, and not team training. But if he is in team training today, which maybe a chance he was, but if he was, then I'm confident he'll come back into the side tomorrow. But this has happened before, man. Remember the Champions League final? Yeah, uh, but Porsche that Mason said, said it was different. Kane. Harry Kane was out for a long, long time. He was out for like three months, and this time he's yeah. been out for one week. So there is a bit mm -hmm. of difference. So I know that, I know that, but like it's a similar frailty that Russian players back, if you know what I mean. Yeah, but like, is it too early to rush him back for a final? I mean, you're gonna risk a Harry Kane in the cup final, aren't you? Like, he's that good of a player. You've got yeah. to risk him because think about it, our season's over anyway. With all without yeah. Kane, like we have to. I think mm. this is a risk definitely worth taking. Mm. Yeah, but anyways, um, obviously last time out was a a two one win against um, Southampton. Um, magnificent second half performance started very poorly and lethargic but second half we were all over Southampton and, and that kind of shows the mentality because I'm pretty sure that's the first time I've come from behind to win at home since Boxing Day 2019 against Brighton I was there as well yeah, um, was... under Mourinho and then since then under Mourinho at home we haven't come behind to win which kind of shows the mentality they, is they really were, poor so they were two very similar performances yeah yeah it's yes, the first half we were slow Second half, we came out and we looked at a different side. Same with the Brighton game on Boxing Day in 2019. So, yeah, um, obviously, like, looking at that and looking at that second half fighting performance, maybe the mentality sort of changed on the Mason, which is what you need heading into a cup final. Like, I know Mourinho is, like, a trophy-winning expert and he's one of the most 
decorated managers in football history. But sometimes in a game like this against one of the best sides in the world this season, you need passion and mentality, you know. And I guess that's what we need heading into a big, big game tomorrow. But anyway, I'm looking at the lineup that started against Southampton on Wednesday. What changes would you make? I reckon people are not going to like what I'm going to say, but I don't think Bale should start. I think we're going to be we're not going to be dominating the ball a lot, so he's not going to get a lot of the action. Um, so I think maybe Lamella comes in for him instead mm-hmm. because I know Lamella doesn't pass, but I think Lamella's work rate is really good. Like same as Mora, his passing isn't great, his overall play, but I think his work rate is really good, and I think he obviously. He can. He's decent at dribbling as well. So yeah, because we're probably yeah, gonna try, we're going to hit City on the counter attack. That's up probably going to be our game plan. Yeah, I see what you mean, but at the same time, first of all, um, but at the same time, first of all, Ryan Mason said um, like it's going to be like a um, it's going to be like a new like brave and attacking sort of tactics. Like I know um, I know City are a great side, and we shouldn't allow them too much time on the ball but at the same time like we've got to shut them down don't give them any respect otherwise they will score a load of goals and number two in my opinion I think Eric Lamella is more of an impact off the bench like when he started this season he hasn't been great like in my opinion like he's made more of an impact off the bench like for example the Crystal Palace game the 4-1 he comes on he comes on and they come out better we look and, and and also and also other games this season recently as well like come off the bench, like because recently the man hasn't started that much. But when he's come off the bench, instantly we look more of an attacking threat. But if it's your opinion, like I would start Bell. Um, I would. Um, I think I'd take out a Celso for this one and put in Lucas in the camp position, and uh, go with the back four of. Um, to be honest, I go with Toby and Dyer. Like I know Dyer is one of our most criticised defenders, but at the same time, like he has put in quite a few big performances this season. And we must remember during the time period when we were top of the league. Toby and Dyer was the centre back pairing. So the back I mean, four, I would go with Aurier, Dyer, Toby, and Regulon yeah. with a defence. I, I agree with that, but I think obviously I think whoever City start, I think Jesus. If they start Jesus, I think the movement Jesus is moving is very good, and it's the same with like. Well, well, start, in the two 0 in the two 0 back in November, Jesus started. Yeah. And Dyer had him on toes. Like, he dealt with him very easily. But yeah, but, yeah I don't true. know. That is true. Uh, I think if it's Sergio Aguero, um, I mean, obviously, he's a bit washed up now. Know. But I, don't, I, think there's a, I think he might start because they're going to rest players, aren't they? And I think true, but like, I just don't see him starting, in my opinion. Because like, it's a game. Well. Uh, mm, yeah, true. Yeah. But at the same time, this is a game that City have to win. So, like... If I was um if I was Pep Guardiola, I'd rather play like a full fit Jesus, who's still a very good player, than a washed up injured well, Aguero. I mean, Aguero, well, even when you say that, what is a washed up Aguero? Aguero is one of the best strikers in the Premier League of all time. Like, yeah, I know that. But, but to to be fair, like he's a winner as well, Aguero. Yeah, so playing that. I know that. I'm trying to say that he's not as good as he was. I mean, I like, think I think either way, I would start Toby and Dyer because I think if Ro, it's just a shame mm-hmm. Roden's not playing because I think yeah. Uh, he's, that's a big miss for us, I think. Hmm. Yeah, but um, yeah. But anyways, um, I go the back four of Aurier, Regidor, and Toby and Dyer with um, uh, like with a defensive two of um, Hoiberg and um, Endon Baller, um, and then Lucas, Bale, and Son, and then Harry Kane if he's fit up top. If Kane's not fit, I'd I'd start. I'd probably. Mm, I go with. We're not sure. I put Son up top because you see how Lucas was really poor against Southampton and he was playing up top, wasn't he? Yeah. You can I see reckon, how much more important he was on the wing. Yeah, I, I think if we're going to hit on the counter attack and we're going to play long balls, then I think Son is perfect for that up top because mm. one, yeah, also, he always mm. seems to get a goal against City as well. Mm. If we score, yeah, he does. Actually. Yeah, he loves a goal against City. Uh, and I think he's got the pace on the counter attack, and it's not like Son is very small as well. Like if we play long balls, he has to head the ball. Like Son is quite tall. Yeah, so, but at the same time, yeah, you know, at the same time, see, have got Ruben Diaz and Laporte, who are both yeah, like I, I, I reckon we could yeah, maybe Ruben Diaz, but definitely not Laporte. But yeah, I think yeah. Lucas Moore. I'd probably start on the left. Mm. I don't think Bergwijn should start. I reckon I'd play yeah. Bale and then on the right I'd play Lamella and then at Cam I'd play Lamella. Yeah. 
Yeah, because mm. I think Bergwijn, if this if, if this was last season, I think I would have started Bergwijn, but I think he's just so low in confidence, we can't risk having him play. And he missed yeah, I think he needs to start a few more games before he gets to start like the big games such as this one tomorrow. Yeah. But anyways, as I finish off this uh, little preview, um, well, obviously nothing to lose tomorrow. Like, tomorrow's going to test our mentality. And, and we're the underdogs, which is what I love. Like, I know we haven't won a trophy in 13 years, but like being the underdog in any final makes me less stretched, shall we say. And also, at the same time, we're coming up against a very, very good Manchester City side on paper. So, we'll see what happens. But anyway, What's your what is your... predictions? Yeah, score predictions. I'll go with you first. Uh, I mean, Man City are a very good team, but they're not a team that scores three or four goals a game. So, I don't think this will be a drumming. I don't think we'll lose, like, 3-4-0, 5-0. I think this will probably be 2 0 to them. I'd say Phil Foden and mm. I'd say Bernardo Silva score for them. Mm. Yeah, to be honest, um, I do expect us to get a goal because uh, because recently City's defence has been quite vulnerable. Like you saw against Aston Villa uh, last Sunday, I'd say the first 25 minutes before their equaliser, like their defence looks so vulnerable. And and maybe because of John Stones and Zinchenko, who knows. But at the same time, like if we use Son's pace and Bell's quality and Lucas's pace and skill as well, um, I do think we can score one. But at the same time, I just think C's threat, like even without the Bruyne going forward, is just going to be too much. So I want us to win so bad, but I'm going to unfortunately say 2-1 to um, Man City on this one. But I do expect to turn up on the day and just see what happens. Hopefully we can just get a, mm. like, we can get like a fluky Jonathan Woodgate type goal in extra time. Who knows? But anyway, we <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> yeah but anyways, people, this has been the Hotspur News, uh, the preview for the Carabao Cup final tomorrow afternoon. Watch along coming, make sure you're there. And um yeah, twenty stairs down the um uh, twenty stairs down the gullet tomorrow morning, six AM start. And uh yeah, and we'll <laughs> see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.